Hello and welcome to episode 33 of the Community Trail Running Podcast. I'm your host, Adam Lee. Thank you for joining me once again. So many podcasts out there and I so appreciate you spending a little bit of your time with me. Today we have Sunny Pert of Black Trail Runners on. Black Trail Runners seeks to increase the inclusion, participation, and representation of black people in trail running. Sunny was a great interview, shared a ton of information, got into some of the data that led him to start Black Trail Runners. Can't wait to share that with you in just a few moments. A little bit of housekeeping first, continue to like, share, rate, subscribe the podcast. I've been noticing a difference, so thank you all for doing that. I really appreciate it and the chance to grow this thing with all of you, so thank you so much. The Galliano Trail Society, we're still hiring that trail building and maintenance coordinator, and I attended my first in-person board meeting with the society over the weekend. It was very fun to kind of take on that process and see what it's all like in person. We've got approval to move forward with a trail race on the island, so that's very exciting. Fall 2023, we're hoping to get something small off the ground. I'm gonna have a full post on this in the coming weeks as well, so stay tuned for that, but excited to see where it all goes. And speaking of where it all goes, look for an official trail running film festival post coming to Vancouver in the next short while. I'm gonna host that. We've got a date, Tuesday, April 18th. I'm just nailing down the details, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, all that good stuff. Should have all of it finalized very soon. I'm hoping by next week when we have Jeff Pelche on the podcast, we're going to talk with him about his creations over the years. He's a great filmmaker himself, and it would totally tie in wonderfully if I have all the Vancouver Trail Running Film Festival information for you by then. That's Monday, January 23rd. But today, we're talking to Sunny, and we're talking about Black Trail Runners. Let's go! Today's guest is Sunny Pert of Black Trail Runners. Sunny is a trail runner and co-founder of Black Trail Runners, and they are a London, UK-based community and campaigning group that seeks to increase the inclusion, participation, and representation of Black people in trail running. Sunny, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure to be here. I'm really excited to hear some more about it, and we can start just nice and easy. Tell us some more about Black Trail Runners, how you're working towards increasing that representation of Black people in trail running. Because you're educating, you host events, you have a gear library, you evolve, you're always kind of moving forward. Yeah, I mean, we've only been going for uh, two and a half years, um, but we basically focus on removing any barriers that there might be to prevent people of color from uh, enjoying the trails. Uh, And some of that's around economic barriers. So yeah, you're right. We have a gear library and we also run a uh, a kind of race grant. So if people want to enter events and they can't afford it, we'll we'll fund that. Um, And we also put on events ourselves. So we have regular free social runs uh, with qualified run leaders around the country. Uh, in the UK. And we also put on what we call trail taster events, which is uh, an opportunity for people to, yes, go out for a, uh, an inclusive sort of uh, led run, but also to take part in workshops, uh, learn skills, whether that's around navigation or gear or uh, running technique or whatever it happens to be. Um, And yeah, and an opportunity for people to experience the trails in a relaxed, inclusive environment where they feel safe, they don't have to worry about being accepted or not. Um, And yeah, and those are, you know, we've had those uh, in many places around the country. Um, And, you know, they are... In some cases, it's the first time that someone's ever run on the trails. In some cases, it might be the first time that they've run any kind of distance at all. Um, So uh, we do try to make them uh, as inclusive as possible. Um, And uh, yeah, and those those have really taken off. We started in the pandemic uh, during lockdown when physical events weren't possible. Mm hmm. Uh, so as things have changed, uh, it's been really great to be able to have in-person live events and actually get people out experiencing the trails with us. 
trail running is definitely more fun when you get to do it with some others for sure <laughs> <laughs> well it can work both ways i mean I, I i like to run on my own on the trail sometimes it's about solitude sometimes it's about just being out there yourself but yeah it can be it's a really great way to spend time with people uh in a kind of yeah in a yeah a really enjoyable way in in a way that's not about performance it's not about competition it's just about experiencing nature and the outdoors together that's super special and i know uh you said you're there removing any barriers you can but that came from a place of data that's where you kind of started all this data was very important for your approach with black trail runners can you give us a glimpse into what some of that data showed that inspired you to start the group yeah so uh very first action as an organization was to write an open letter to race organizers in the UK of trail races um, and ask them to start collecting data on ethnicity of entrants. That Mm. wasn't something that was being collected up to that point. We had anecdotal evidence, but no real data. But once that started coming in, it immediately confirmed our suspicions around this which was that black people are underrepresented in this sport so here in the uk um, the population is roughly well i'm going to say four and a half that's what it was Mm -hmm. uh, but we had our latest census in the uk last year and the ethnicity data for that just came out a few weeks ago okay Um, so four and a half is now more like five and a half Mm. which we kind of guessed that 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 number would go up. So if we say five and a half percent of the UK population identify as black, um, the equivalent number for entrance of trail races in the UK is less than one percent. So to us, that's a significant difference Mm -hmm. Um, if 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 black people were equally represented uh in the sport then you would expect kind of one in 20 people in a race to be black whereas it's more like one in 120 wow um so that's pretty significant so it was clear to us that there were some systemic issues that were affecting that and as I suggested, those are around uh, access, um, which is economic or geographic. Um, they're also around skills. So if you don't grow up in the countryside, for example, mm-hmm. how do you know how you can run safely in mountains or wherever? Um, and then thirdly, it's around representation. Uh, And that's how events, how the sport in general represents itself in media and in its own marketing. Uh, And what we have found uh, is that uh, overwhelmingly, the sport has represented itself in the way that it has been traditionally, which is basically a white middle class male sport. Yeah. Um, So uh, what we've tried to do is work with events and work with media to try and represent the sport in the way that we would like it to be which is one that actually represents the population as a whole (laughs) yeah absolutely Uh, and i think we've seen some progress in that uh you know there's definitely been some changes uh but there's still work to do without question i i was gonna ask uh if and obviously starting in the pandemic it's so recent and and all this data kind of takes time to come in so I, i suppose it's more anecdotally at this point how it feels to you but it does it seem like you're making some momentum in the right way, especially when you have the chance to reach out to someone and work with them? Yeah, there's de- there's no question that it's made a difference. I mean, we, we've we been surprised <laughs> because <laughs> when we started this, we had no idea where it was going to go. Uh, it just felt as though something should be done. And mm-hmm. if anyone was going to do it, it might as well be us. So, you know, a few of us got together and started this. Um, and yeah, I think we hit, a kind of zeitgeist if you like uh mm-hmm. it was at the time of a resurgence of black lives matter um it's a time when trail running itself is mm-hmm. probably the most uh rapidly growing sector within running uh so yeah it's kind of hit a hit a hot button but um but it is still early as you say to be able to say 
conclusively what difference we're we making. We we hear the stories of the people that we work with. We get feedback from people saying we're so glad that you're out there. Uh, you know what you've done has made a difference. We see people who turn up to our trail taster events and then weeks and months later they are running trail events. Um, people are discovering that, and so yeah, we absolutely see that. There's no question that we're seeing greater representation in terms of the media, uh, and we're um, and we ourselves are a part of that, and our members are a part of that. Um, but in terms of more uh, sort of concrete, uh, data-driven progress, it's it's really too early to say. So our first full year of data was 2021. Uh, obviously, we're just of coming to the end of 2022. Mm-hmm. So we're in the process of compiling data for this year, uh, and we'll be releasing that in the next year. Uh, hopefully, we'll see some progress. Uh, but even if we don't, or if that progress is small, well, you know, this is one year in, in, a, in what we know is, is going to be a lengthy journey. Uh, you're not going to change uh, a sport overnight. Um, and while what we are trying to do is change that sport, we're also enjoying the journey itself. So every person who comes to the sport, every person who enjoys a trail run for the same time for the first time, that's progress for us. Um, you know, it is about data, yes, but it is also more importantly about personal experiences mm-hmm. uh, and what people get from the joy of trail running. You know, we are interested in this. We get involved in this because this is something that we love. We know that trail running is good for us uh, physically uh, and it's good for us emotionally and mentally and psychologically. Uh, So every person that we can bring to that, that's a that's a win for us. I can appreciate that completely. Uh, I have to say, even just part of the data, the you know, the access to the outdoors, I've taken that for granted my whole life, not really realized that that's something that's um, not available to everyone. I'm so glad that. Some, like you said, someone had to do it, and it's awesome that you've stood up and started this Black Trail Runners. Uh, you said that you love the sport. That's why you're here. I'm wondering, you've run 30 marathons and ultras yourself. Are you working towards anything personally right now? Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's Christmas, so it's, it's that time of the year <laughs> when maybe running takes a little bit of a backseat. Uh, and I have, I have been ill recently, but um, yeah, I... I recently signed up for two things for next year. So one is I'm running the London Marathon uh, nice. for the third time, which is not a trail race, but it is an iconic race. Um, and I'm doing that to raise money for an organization called Sporting Equals. Uh, and that's a nationwide UK organization that looks to diversify uh, all sports. Nice. Uh, so I'm really pleased to be able to do that. Uh, and then I've also entered a trail race, a, an ultra called the Wendover Woods 100, uh, okay. which is a 100 mile race. Um, if your listeners have heard of Wendover Woods, they'll know what this means. Uh, it's like a 10 mile loop that involves quite a lot of elevation. Um, and I've done the 50 mile version before, so five loops, uh, but the 100 has only happened uh, two or three times. And it's one of those things which is a real challenge. Um, few people finish it. Nice. So it's it's one of those things which you start not knowing whether you'll finish it, and that's something that I wanted to do this year or next year. So, so yeah, that that's what I'm that's what I'm working towards next summer. Well, that sounds super cool. Definitely, best of luck with that. Before we move on, uh, you should give us all the goods on Black Trail Runners, where we can find you online, where we can follow up with these events, and and, and follow your evolution. Yeah, well, we are on lots of places online. So uh, Instagram, Black Trail Runners, that's our big uh, sort of community. Uh, we have a, a private Facebook group, but everyone's able to join. Uh, it's just a moderated group. Uh, and again, that's Black Trail Runners. Uh, we also have uh, a Strava group with uh, about 8,500 members. So uh, we welcome members to that at Black Trail Runners. Uh, we're on twitter uh, runners black <laughs> and we're also on linkedin at black trail runners uh, and we have our own website which is black trail runners dot run so all of our social runs and our events they're all uh, diarized on uh, both on facebook and on our website so if you want to catch us somewhere that's where to look 
fantastic make sure to check it out friends huge thank you to sunny pert huge thank you to all of you listening shout out to race volunteers everywhere and until next time i'm adam lee and this is community trail running (laughs) 